I have such a fun series of videos to share with you. And basically, I'm going to show you how to do exactly one thing in QuickBooks Online. Basically, get in, get out, and move on with your life because it is summer and we have every weekend booked from here until the start of the school year. <laughs> I'm sure you feel me on this one. Go ahead and drop in the comments what your favorite summer activity is. I would love to hear it. Hi, my name is Adrena. I am the owner and accountant here at Accounting by Adrena. And bonus, I am a QuickBooks certified pro advisor. So in this particular video, I'm going to show you how to enter a sales receipt into QuickBooks online. So this is going to be pretty straightforward, very easy, and hopefully you will be able to follow along and then be able to move on with your life because we cannot be spending all day every day on the computer especially during summer there is swimming to be had there are vacations to be had and we need to spend time with our family and friends now if after watching this video you're still feeling a little bit hesitant about something have no fear i'm here to help you i do have a service available called accountant for a day accountant for a day is perfect for the service-based entrepreneur making up to $50,000 per year, and maybe you're ready to scale, but you're not quite ready to hire a bookkeeper just yet, but you love that one-on-one -on -one attention. In this service, you will have the option between a 12-month analysis of a bank account or a 12-month analysis of your budget expense spreadsheet. After securing your spot on my calendar, you will provide me with your information via a secure Dropbox link, and I will get to work. Um, along with the cash flow budget analysis that I provide to you, uh, you will also be informed on how to make your quarterly estimated tax payments and about how much you should be paying in quarterly estimated tax payments. Hiring me as your accountant for a day takes about one hour of your time. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a link below and you can uh, read more about it on my website and feel free to leave any questions that you have in the comments below as well. And let's get to it, how to enter a sales receipt into QuickBooks Online. All right, so as with all my other videos, I am using the sample company that QuickBooks has where you can test drive the QuickBooks online version. You can also go there if you search on Google QBO test drive. So when we want to enter a sales receipt, that basically means we did not invoice the customer, um, but we do have, maybe we have some products or services available. So first of all, I'm going to come over here to products and services under the sales tab, and I'm going to take a look at what we have available to us and show you exactly what we would what we would need to use um, when we're entering a sales receipt. So for example, this person does has, have some inventory on hand, and there's a fountain pump, a rock fountain. Um, there's some services that they have, maintenance, uh, sprinkler heads. Okay, so let's say that you had a customer come in and buy a fountain pump from you. Um, let's go ahead and take note of the name called pump. So we'd go here and click on new and under customers, click on sales receipt. So essentially, let's just say this customer walked in and uh, had some had a check for you. Um, and it's Diego Rodriguez, and you can enter their email address here, their billing address here, and then make sure you have the date here on when uh, you sold that product to them. So you can say that it was a check and that it was deposited into the checking account. Um, so over here under product slash service, you would go ahead and select pump as we saw um, on that product and service screen. And let's say they only selected one, the rate is 15 and it is taxable. So if you have your tax situation set up, it's already gonna automatically calculate that. You can go ahead and click save. You can click save and send, or you can click save and new, save and close. Uh, so whatever works for you. And then when you're done with that, you would come over to the banking screen and you would match the sales receipt to the whatever came through on your bank um, on your banking screen. So I'm going to assume that you went to the bank that day and deposited the check. And then you would come over here and just select match when you see 
Uh, so it would come on the received side, and then you would just go ahead and select match here. And then that would update QuickBooks Online with that sales receipt. Now, for example, I have a, a couple of nonprofit clients. And so we use sales receipts as their donations, um, basically. So we would have, let's say, we can use that same customer. We have Diego Rodriguez. So let's say Diego is uh, donating to the nonprofit. So then in this product slash service, you would show individual donation. And when you add it, whoops, when you add it, uh, you would want to make sure that that product or service is uh going to be routed to on your GL to the donation line. So it would be a non-inventory item. And then that's pretty much how you enter a sales receipt in QuickBooks Online. Feel free to drop your comments below if you have any questions. And I'll see you guys in my next video.